We all know that the natural environment is crucial for our existence, but not all of us are aware of the connection between caring for the environment and spirituality. On Tuesday, a panel discussion around Pope Francis's encyclical letter on care for our common home was held at the Goodwill Parish Hall hosted by the Catholic Church. The event brought a full house with students from various high schools in attendance. The panel was made up of religious and conservationist leaders from Dominica and St. Lucia who explained the Pope's encyclical and then expounded on its detailing ways that the world and Dominica specifically can face the mounting interconnected challenges of societal and environmental degradation. Sister Lorraine Royer started the panel with an overview of the encyclical and how it connected God, care for each other, and care for the environment. Laudato C focuses on the idea of integral ecology, which is connecting care of the natural world with justice for the poorest and most vulnerable people. He says, and I quote, only by radically reshaping our relationships with God, with our neighbors, and with the natural world, can we hope to tackle the threats facing our planet today. Science, he insists, is the best tool by which we can listen to the cry of the earth, while dialogue and education are the two keys that can help us to escape the spiral of self-destruction which currently engulfs us. The global threats detailed in the encyclical as laid out by Royer include pollution, climate change, lack of access to clean drinking water, a depletion of biodiversity, social breakdown, and global inequality. The roots of the problems were identified as a misuse of technology, anthropocentrism, and also the practical relativism. And the other speakers detailed some of the social and also environmental issues specific to the Eastern Caribbean. According to St. Lucian Deacon David Popo, there is a major lack of coordination between divisions like fisheries, forestry, and trade, hindering conservationist efforts. And he also fingered government corruption as a further impediment. Monsignor Patrick Anthony focused on food, illustrating the unsustainable ways in which food is grown, transported, and consumed, while local environmentalist Atherton Mate laid out some different ways that a just, sustainable culture could be fostered right here in Dominica. Compost means we can do low-input agriculture. We can cut back on the use of chemical fertilizers, etc., etc. We can start producing seedlings. We can go into the business of propagating those seedlings, both tree seedlings for replanting on slopes, as well as vegetable seedlings for direct production and consumption. These are things you may have heard people talking about before, but these are things that require the commitment of a generation. I think what the Pope is asking us to do is to commit, get beyond the exhortation, get beyond the urgings and commit to doing a few of those things. And Mate also encouraged the church to lead the way by implementing simple changes such as using grey water from the buildings for gardening, composting and recycling, and utilizing clean energy sources such as wind turbines. And to see the Pope's encyclical in its entirety, you can visit our website, cbn4news.com.